on the ScarJo situation with Disney, and we're going to be listening to Nerdrotic as he gives his POV on the situation. Some of the reporting that Gary does is fine, but then he interjects, I think, an irrelevant issue to the situation. And I also am questioning how consistently he is in terms of what he's trying to say. Riders agree attacking Johansson so personally was a pretty spectacular unforced error, and many observers are laying that at the feet of CEO Bob Chapik with an assist from reflexively vindictive top communications officer Xenia Mucha and with approval from the lawyers. The chief communications officer for Disney, the person who communicates with people, is vindictive. Well, that might explain this. There is no merit whatsoever in this filing, Disney said in an unusually fiery statement. The lawsuit is especially sad and distressing in its callous disregard for the horrific and prolonged global effects of the COOF pandemic. Is it that unusual? Because it reminds me of the firing of Gina Carano. Gina Carano was not currently employed by Lucasfilm and there are no plans for her to be in the future, a Lucasfilm spokesperson said in a statement. Nevertheless, her social media posts denigrating people based on their culture and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. Now, this is just a side note. I find both statements towards ScarJo and Gina equally vindictive. It's almost like they came from the same person. MCU shouldn't have been turned into a platform. Maybe it shouldn't be the MCU. Just look in the mirror, Kevin, if you're mad at anyone. Or maybe think about putting a little more effort into it. I mean, you put a woman's head on a man's body with Taskmaster and Marvel's Katie. And again, I don't feel sorry for ScarJo or any other millionaire that's suing billionaires. Now, All right, it's a minor point that you say the word abhorrent. The word is abhorrent, not aberrant. But let's get to the substance of what he's trying to say. So ScarJo is a strong woman and Gina Carano is a strong woman. Therefore, we've got a comparable case and Unless you stand with both, then you're a hypocrite. Well, actually, I do stand with Gina Carano. I do think what Disney did was wrong, but they're not comparable at all on many different levels. Gina Carano did not have her contract renewed. Now, you can say it should have been renewed, but technically speaking, she didn't have her contract renewed. But Disney did pay her fairly for what she did. And the case of ScarJo, ScarJo is saying she has not been paid fairly. Now, I think actually she has been paid fairly, but... We'll put that to the side. But the issue there is the contract has been violated, and that's the basis of the lawsuit. Whether that's true or not, we'll have to decide later. But the point is, they're not comparable. They're not even comparable in terms of the Hollywood system. Gina Carano is a very, very minor star. ScarJo is a very, very huge star. So they're, again, they're not comparable. So they're not comparable on many different fronts. You can sort of just try to reframe it as, well, they're both strong women. And we should support both of them, blah, blah, blah. But really, that doesn't quite make sense. It just seems Gary likes Gina because she's not a feminist. He doesn't like ScarJo because she is a feminist. And okay, that's fine. But he's trying to slip in. Listen, I don't feel sorry for these millionaires. Well, Gina Carano is a multimillionaire. So I'm really not clear what you're trying to say. It's kind of like you want to just get to the thing is that I don't like ScarJo. I don't care about ScarJo. But we should still care about Gina Carano. Now, I think we should care about both of them to a certain extent, but I actually am with them that at the end of the day, these are multimillionaires and they're, they're going to be fine. It, like, we shouldn't be that concerned over this whole situation. But if we are going to be concerned, I don't think we want to go down the route. I'm really concerned because of the feminism and the feminism is evil and we should never support it. Like, that is completely partisan. It's perfectly possible that, yes, a feminist, however rarely, does have a point and is being cognitively cogent so we don't want to say automatically feminism equals evil scarjo feminist i hope they both go to hell like um that's not going to make a lot of sense and it's kind of counteracting what he's saying that you know the problem with disney is they gave us feminist propaganda well presumably the problem here is giving propaganda it's not that it was quote feminist propaganda that would be hypocrisy Again, I'm actually with him in sentiment that Disney's doing something wrong and they did something more wrong with Gina because I think that amounts to censorship.
But again, I'm not getting worked over it because uh, there's much more severe cases of censorship. There's worse things in the world. In terms of the Scarja situation, yeah, it's it's not good. But again, it's kind of murky. It, it seems to me that she doesn't really have a strong case, but she just wants more money. I understand all that, but we can still be, quote, for strong women, but not really be fully supporting her. I do support Scarjo, but I think it should be a little bit moderated because really there's really not much to get worked up over. At least that's my uh, opinion on the situation. Thanks for listening.